Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray that you are rejoicing with us and you are glad in it. We're praying about being a part of the blessed church that God has already placed his blessings upon the church of Jesus Christ, upon the body of Christ, and you and I who have placed our faith in the Lord Jesus for the forgiveness of our sin are already a part of that blessing that God has pronounced upon his church. So each day we're just reading a passage of scripture that reminds us of how blessed the church of Jesus Christ is, how blessed we already are. And so today is day number 23, and we're going to be praying from 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 1 and 2. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 1 and 2 says, Moreover, brethren, we make known to you the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded in the riches of their liberality. Amen. As we get ready to pray today about the blessing of God upon his church, we're going to pray for three things. Number one, we want to pray that we would know the grace of God in his church, that we would know the grace of God in his church. Secondly, we want to pray that in great trials of affliction, we would have an abundance of joy. And then thirdly and finally, we want to pray that in deep poverty, we would have an abundance of generosity, an abundance of generosity. Come on, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just come to you this day, magnifying you and glorifying you, lifting you up and praising your holy name. God, we thank you for this day that you have made. God, we are choosing now to rejoice and to be glad in it. God, we thank you for the word. We thank you for Jesus Christ and his total sufficiency. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. And we thank you for the privilege of prayer, being able to come to your throne of grace to find help and grace in our times of need. God, we thank you for already pronouncing and placing a blessing upon your church and upon the people that make up your church. We pray, Lord God, that as your body of Christ, as your believers, that we would know your grace, that we would know of your unmerited favor, that we would know, God, that you have blessed us even when we did not deserve it, even when we did not earn it. And we pray, Lord God, that you would continue to have your hand of grace upon our lives, that you would continue to extend toward us your unmerited favor, your undeserved blessings, and we thank you and are grateful for it. And God, we pray that even in our great trials of affliction, you would teach us, Lord, how to have an abundance of joy. That no matter what we're going through, no matter the trial, the trouble, or the tribulation, that we would be reminded of your great grace upon our lives. And that would lead us to have an abundance of joy. Lord, we've heard it said often, and it is true, this joy that we have, the world did not give it to us, and the world can't take it away. Lord, you are the source of our joy. You are the source of our praise. You are the source of our hallelujah. So we give them to you, Lord, even right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the grace that saved us. Thank you for the grace that raised us. Thank you for the grace that delivered us. Thank you for the grace that set us free. Thank you for your grace that woke us up this morning. Thank you for your grace, oh God, that started us on our way. Thank you for your grace that even now, allows us to come before your presence with thanksgiving and enter into your courts with praise and to bless your holy name. We thank you for your grace, Lord. And we ask that even when we go through difficulty and dangers and down times and even moments of depression, Lord, that we would hold on to our joy, that we would have an overflow of joy, that we would have an abundance of joy. And we pray, Lord God, that even in our times of deep poverty, as the churches in Macedonia and the churches in the New Testament went through, God, we would still have an abundance of generosity, recognizing, Lord, that no matter how hard it may be for us, there's always someone who may be worse off than we are. So we lift up our brothers and sisters around the world, Lord, that are living in <clears throat> abject poverty, Lord, that are living in impoverished, impoverished conditions, Lord. We pray that we would learn to be no matter what state we are in, to be content and not just to be content, but to be generous in the state that we're in, recognizing, Lord, that it is you that has opened up the window of heaven and poured us out blessings that we don't have room enough to receive. 
Help us to teach us, Lord, to be generous even in our own poverty, Lord, to be generous even in the times that we go through, that we might understand your word that tells us it is more blessed to give than it is to receive. So we thank you, Lord, for your generosity toward us. We thank you, Lord, for your open hand toward us. We thank you, Lord, for how you teach us to give by showing us your generosity toward us. And we then, Lord, can then extend that same generosity to our brothers and sisters in need. So we thank you for the church of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your grace upon our church. We thank you for the abundance of joy that we have in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for your generosity toward us, that we can extend that same generosity toward those that are in need. And God, we bless you and praise you for it even now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Again, today was day number 23, and we prayed from 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 1 and 2. Moreover, brethren, we make known to you the grace of God bestowed upon the churches of Macedonia, that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded in the riches of their liberality. Amen. Go in the blessing that is upon the church of Jesus Christ today. We'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. We love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.